So despite a lot of the fitness gurus saying that you should be running every day or I should be doing 30 minutes of cardio here and there, included with weights, I do not run, I don't do cardio, I hate it, and I will never do it. Now in today's video, I wanna share with you guys a little bit about my philosophy on cardio exercise and playing the long game. What's up guys, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now, the main thing is that philosophically, I believe you should do what you enjoy. Because if you think about, if it takes thousands and thousands and thousands of habit repetitions to actually see results, see the fruit from something like exercise habit, then if you hate that, that's thousands and thousands and thousands of days that you actually hate. And so for me, being a person who hates running, I'm also a lifelong asthmatic, this is one of the worst ideas because number one, I'm not going to be motivated. Number two, it's just going to build that negative association with exercise and with working out. So my whole thing, my whole shtick, my whole spiel here is all about the fact that you should always take the long-term mindset. It's just like if you're dating a person and you actually care about them, you're going to jump through hoops to make sure the relationship works. You're going to get off work early or you're going to buy the flowers or you're going to take time to plan a nice date. You're going to do the work. And often, we do the work when we like things. I know that sounds shocking, very surprising. And the reality is that intrinsic motivation, stuff you like to do, the actual habit of, often wins out versus extrinsic motivation. And there's even research that I've profiled before in motivation articles where the more we use extrinsic rewards, for example, being like, I'll get 50 bucks if I do that habit, or I can have the cookie if I go to the gym. The more we do that, the less we become intrinsically motivated to just do the habit. So there's a little bit of the paradox there. My first thing is I always try to do what I enjoy because it takes longer than you think, it's often harder than you think, and we're talking not weeks, we're often talking about years for achieving a lot of our goals. You know, and fitness is a really good example of that. And the second reason is that I like going to the gym as a phase switch. So I'm gonna shoot a video at some point on productivity here, but the most effective thing I found for achieving my goals is breaking my day into chunks. So there's a morning block, there's an afternoon block, and there's an evening block. And I try to think about what I have to get done in the morning block, the afternoon block, and the evening block to make today, you know, quote unquote, your masterpiece, that John Wooden quote. If you figure out what has to go in each block in terms of habits, then you're gonna realize, well, okay, all I have to do is this habit, that habit, that habit, to be happy, healthy, and in a good relationship. The thing is, for me, after the first two blocks, I'm really tired by four or five o'clock. And the idea of going to the gym, which means getting out of my house, or getting out of the office, or getting out of somewhere else, it just helps me flip the switch, psychologically change state, change where I am. The very act of changing where I am often gives me more energy. I've used this same tactic, changing a location to change your state. I've used that for writing all my books. I would rather go to a cafe first thing in the morning or last thing at night. I've used that for shooting videos. If I'm at home, I, they almost never get done. I've used it for creating programs, again, with cafes. Or in the summer in July, I booked a one month sabbatical in Spain and Portugal to finish writing my last book. So that idea of changing the physical location for motivation and energy has been monumental for me. I still do it every single day. And for me, going to the gym instead of running means I have to change my state because I am physically changing my location rather than, you know, I'm on my couch, I'm like, ah, should I run outside and run back? Or it just motivates me a lot more. Another reason for me is that if you look at a lot of the research on the people who live the longest in the world with the best quality of life, so a lot of these people in the blue zones, the ones that live the longest are not going for workouts, going for these long runs, doing marathons. It's a lot of daily low level exercise. Low level meaning like walking around with your sheep for three hours or doing some gentle hills as part of whatever labor you have to do or you know, putting in those fence posts and harvesting stuff out of the garden. It's a lot of low level exercise. And for some people doing lots of cardio, lots of intense exercise has been linked to an overactive stress response. So it secretes excess cortisol, which is really damaging to the body. Now, if you like it, I'm not gonna tell you to stop doing it. But for runners that are running 50 plus miles a week, there is an increase in the stress response in the body. Generally, we're not designed to be doing that much intense cardio. We're built for consistent movement, constant movement, but 
low level. And for me, anyway, going to the gym can either be, you know, you can either have veins bulging out of your neck, or you can train hard, but not destroy yourself and really burn yourself out in the process. So at the end of the day, honestly, it comes down to knowing yourself. It's funny because I hate running, but I describe lifting weights as meditation. And I have runner friends that say the exact same thing, that it's the runner's high for them. So I don't know, maybe it depends on what your goals are, what you're trying to do, but I would think, like everything, think about what you're good at, think about what you like, think about what you don't like, think about the habits you are intrinsically motivated to do because they get you out of bed in the morning or in the evening, and think about why you want to do these things, and then make a more educated decision rather than seeing some tabloid on you have to do this workout, you have to do that juice cleanse, you have to do this kind of running elliptical P90X thing. You should just do what you want. You should just do what you enjoy because that's what the longevity is. That's why I've still been in the gym 11 years later when many of those years I saw no progress, none, like zero progress whatsoever. And now I'm really happy with how I look and how I feel. And it comes, that longevity comes from loving the process more than you love the outcome than the goal. Remember, and habits are the way to do that rather than focusing on your goals. And of course, the last reason I don't run is because runners are weird and they wear tiny shorts that look like this. Yeah, that's not my style. I like Speedos. All right, guys, so to wrap it up, I don't run. I hate cardio. I do meditation. I do Qigong, which is a form of cardio as well. But you should do whatever is aligned with what you like and with your goals. And don't follow this kind of blind, one-size-fits-all advice. If you like running more than you like lifting weights, do that. If you like lifting weights more than you like running, do that. And then if you're not getting the results, then adjust from there. But that's just my two cents. Oh, and one other thing, obviously you don't need to do cardio or run to be cut because this is what I look like on a daily basis and I haven't done any cardio in literally years and years and years. So don't believe people that say that you need to do it to get lean, whether it's for a female you wanna to get toned or for a guy you wanna to get toned and a six pack. Don't believe it for a second because I don't do any cardio and I look pretty decent. So hope that helps. Before you go, leave a comment right there below. Are you more on the weightlifting calisthenics end or more on the cardio end? Let me know right there below and let me know why because I want to find out. Hey guys, so there's three ways to stay in touch with me. The first is to go over and get that free guide, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. In addition, come check out the last video there. Click the monk dude right there to subscribe so you get the next video when it's out. And if you like this success philosophy on little daily habits to help you not only get fitter, but live that most successful life you envision, check out my book, Master of the Day. You can check it out in the description or on amazon.com. And if you send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com, I'll send you a bonus two hour video course for free. All right guys, so go do those three things now and I'll catch you in the next video.